Hi everyone, this is Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a jig for pencils, how to cut them on laser box, and I'm using the X-Tool D15 watt laser. Let's get started. Okay. So now I'm in laser box basic. Um, I tried to find an easy tutorial on how to make pencils on the laser and I really couldn't find something that uses laser box and that was simple. Everybody else used light burn and they start off simple but then they used a lot of jargon I was not familiar with because I'm a newbie. I've only had my laser for what, two weeks? So I just wanted to show you how to make a pencil because I'm not sure how to make more than one. The jig will make more than one, but I'm not sure yet how to make the laser go to each pencil. So maybe we can figure that out together. So I will show you exactly how I did it, my jig, and then I will actually show you it making a pencil. Here we go. So what you're going to do is go to insert, you're going to get a rectangle. And I know from doing this that my pencil is 192 by 6.5. So we're going to just put those numbers in. 192 by 6.5. And that is perfect. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is hold that down, copy and paste it, copy. And then I'm going to paste it. And I'm just going to move it down a little bit because I do want a space in between them so that it will cut um, out without, if you put them together, which I did at first, it just cuts a big square as big as all of, all of the um, rectangles. But if you put a space in between, it will leave a space in between each one. So now I can just copy and paste as many as I want. And I'm just going to do three since... I haven't figured out how to do more than one anyway. It doesn't make sense to do a whole bunch. But you, if you wanted 24, you would just copy and paste, you know, 24 pencils. You could do two columns, however you like it. All right? So now that we have that, um, we're just going to tell it to cut. Not engrave, but cut. And my settings are always at 100% and 5 millimeters. That's how mine's cut successfully every time. Because if I move those it doesn't always work all right so I'm going to go ahead and say start all right now you always want to move this little dot to the center of your project right there okay all right now I am going to pause and then we're going to go over to the laser and do some stuff there Okay, I'm at the laser now, and I just cut off a piece of cardboard box from a box that I had. And I'm going to actually tape this down. Yes, my laser is looking all burnt up, so it's just the wood. I'll get another piece soon. I've already turned it over, in case you were saying, just turn it over. No, I've already done that. And I am going to order the, um, the honeycomb thing eventually. Okay, so then you just take this down. And then you would move this. First of all, you want to make sure you put the kickstand down and make sure it's, you know, the laser is right above it. Put that in the center of it. And then you can hit go. So I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back once it's working. Okay, now I'm going to frame it so we can make sure that it's only going to um, go as far as my cardboard. And of course, the setting you will use is corrugated cardboard. And as you can see, it's only in the area that we have the three pencil cutouts. So it's perfect. Now, I will hit start. And it will start um, cutting out my jig. As you can see the line is coming in and I will come back once it's done okay so the laser has finished um, 
with our pencil jig. So now all I just have to do is punch these out and then I can put the pencils in there. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come right back. Okay, I just punched one out since I'm only gonna um, do one pencil. And I found out that if you put it this way, it's best to do it like that and move to a spot that has no writing on it, of course. And then you just move the laser right to, so if you can see, the crosshairs are on the edge of the pencil where you want it to print. I'm going to move it out the way a little bit so I can see. I'm going to move this pencil a little bit. And then I'm going to put it right where the crosshairs are right, as you can see, on the top of the pencil. And I, um, the only thing I would say is make sure that you don't, um, that you don't move, forget to move that little dot because then it'll do something kind of wonky. So all I'm going to do now is press start I'm gonna make uh, let's do close and I will come back cuz I forgot I haven't done my name yet I will be right back okay I am back and what I'm going to do now is insert text and I'm just gonna write my name Kathy and if I want to change the font, I could just go over here and choose something. That's good enough. And I know from doing this before that the font had to be about 12 and uh, 7. Whoa. Not 73, but 7. All right. It has to be that tiny. And so then I can just move it, you know, right where I want it. If you want to put a line, you can, but I don't think that's necessary so that you don't go over the eraser. Um, I'm going to get rid of these other two because I'm not using them. I'm just going to do the one for now. So my name is in there. Um, and to me, it's a little that font is bigger than the other font, so I'm going to come down to six. Because you, you want it kind of in the middle of the pencil. Okay, so that's perfect right there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. And just leave that. Now I'm going to highlight that. And I want it to engrave. Um, and usually I engrave at 155. If I know my numbers... We're going to get there. Actually, 56 is okay, but no, we want 55. They don't want to go to 55 today. There we go. All right, and that should be it. Uh, oh, we forgot to change this. We wanted to go to, um, what did I do? I guess basswood. I can't remember if I did basswood or something else. Well, we'll try the basswood and see what happens. All right, and then we just hit engrave. Oh, sorry. And then we hit start. It's been a long day. Okay, so this dot is what I was talking about. Make sure that is in the middle of your pencil. I don't do framing on pencils because I actually put the laser already where I want it to go, so it shouldn't go anywhere else. All right, so I'm going to click start. And then I'm going to go back over to the laser. So I'll be back in a second. And as you can see, it is putting a name on that pencil. And make sure you put the crosshairs on the top of the pencil, not the actual laser. Um, there's a difference. And there we are. There's my name on the pencil. Let's see if we can get it in the camera. 
There we are. Now, of course, I didn't get it exactly on top like I should have because I'm trying to hold the phone and everything. So, um, but that's how you would do it. Well, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It's fairly new. But I like to make um, videos that's real uh, to the point. And so you can get up and running really fast. Thank you again. See you in my next video.